Hi, it's Tim Aubrey from DMAD Marine Mammals Research Association, bringing you our second one of these GIS videos, uh, which are coming to you absolutely free. This one's all about downloading and installing QGIS, and we'll dive straight in. Please do remember to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share these videos to help us help as many people as possible. Okay, so today we're downloading and installing QGIS, and unsurprisingly, that's the objective of today's lesson. So, to start with, for both Windows and Mac, you want to go to the following address. I'll post it underneath the video. Um, yeah, so just click and follow that link. And for Windows, you'll click on the download for Windows. Uh, I think it's actually already the default, but if not, click on the drop down. And we have a number of different releases and different versions for uh, QGIS. And the one we want is the ones that show highlighted with the red square, which is the long term release. Um, and that's because it's the most stable. Unfortunately, QGIS and ArcGIS both crash far more than they should. Um, and by installing the standalone version, then we can just decrease that a little bit. Um, there's two options there the 64 bit and the 32 bit. I imagine most of you are running a 64-bit these days but um, if you're not sure then I've got the instructions for that so for Windows 10 just press start click the the cog looking icon which is the settings icon and then click on system that bring up the system options and then uh, at the bottom on the left hand side is an about button if you click that then it will give you your system information and that will tell you whether you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit system if you're on Windows 8 and it's similar, go to Control Panel, click System and click System Type and that will give you the same information. Uh, for older versions of Windows then just, just look online, uh, but I imagine most people are on Windows 8 or Windows 10 now. For Mac it is a lot simpler, we only have two versions here, but again we're going to go for the long term re release which is the version 3.10. Um, if you have a much older version of Mac, then I believe that if you click on the link below that on the Mac OS installers, it'll let you look at a couple of older versions. I don't have a Mac, so I've not been able to try that, but if someone does um, have a Mac and they go for an older version, then please let me know how you get on in the comments below. Um, yeah, so once we've installed it, We'll get and clicked on it, we'll get the standard pop up, and you'll have to click next, yes, and I agree a ton of times. Uh, generally, I install it in default locations, but depending on uh, how you want your setup, if you want it specific, you might want to put it somewhere else. Uh, please do install the sample data sets, we may well end up using them for um, a couple of the lessons. I think there's one for North Dakota, one for Alaska, and one other that I can't remember. Uh, but we will be using them throughout the lessons towards the end. Um, it might take a little while, uh, depending on your internet speed, to do the downloads of the data. For some reason they're not huge files, but it did take me a long time to download them last time. So that's everything for that lesson. I, I imagine a lot of you could have done it without the help of the video, but it's always nice to have something to help you along with. Hopefully you all found that okay. If not, there's a ton of other help guides on the website and I'll see you in the next lesson.